Hey guys, I have another review for you here today, and this is actually going to be a multi-part review. Well, it's not going to be a multi-part review, it's actually going to be a review and then a multi-part test, some extreme tests. And what it's going to be on is the Fisher Space Pen. And a lot of people know what they are, and if you don't, what they are is this was a pen that was designed for NASA to write in space. As you know, there is zero gravity in space, and most ballpoint pens work with the gravity with the gravity pulling the ink towards the roller ball on the front of the pen so that the ink comes out. Well, with no gravity in space, that's not going to happen. So Fisher had to come up with a way to alleviate that problem, and they do that with a pressurized ink cartridge. And now, as such, they made these pens tough, so now they can write in extreme temperatures, underwater, at any angle, upside down, uh, just in, you know, in the rain, obviously. And they're really fantastic. And uh, what I have here, uh, the one I'm reviewing is on the bottom, but what I have here is the on the top is the Spyderco Balio, which is the uh, the flipper pen from Spyderco. And in there, if you twist it out, and of course it's not going to focus, but what came out was a Fisher Space Pen cartridge. And that's what I was actually writing with. I was filling out a... Uh, job application, you know, in my many talents, I like to try out as many different jobs as I can. Uh, anyway, I was filling out a job application, and I was writing with this pen, and it was just so smooth, it felt like I was writing with uh, those gel pens, if anybody remembers those. It was so smooth, very a very good experience writing with that, but I'm not going to lie, writing with this flipper pen is not very comfortable, because you can't write with it open, it won't lock so you can write with it open. So as such, you have to write with it closed, and you either have the clip sticking into you, or you can take the clips off, but I don't like taking the clips off, because then if I want to put it in my pocket again, it doesn't really work out, and plus it's just big, and it doesn't fit in my hand well, but, either, but the writing itself was very nice. And that comes with a blue ink cartridge, if you get the Spider Cobalio, uh, not the black version. The black version comes with a regular ink cartridge, but all of the colored versions, the ones that are made in the U.S. and not China, they come with the Fisher, the Fisher Space Pen cartridge. Anyway, this is the one I got uh, because I was so impressed with the uh, the Balios ink cartridge. This is the Fisher Space Pen Bullet X Mark. The only difference between the uh, Bullet and the X Mark Bullet is the uh, X Mark has this flat top, and the regular Bullet has a round top, so it would look rounded on both sides. Uh, and the the thing is the. Uh, the regular bullet actually costs a bit more because it comes with a gift box. I don't really care. I'm using a pen for a pen. I don't really need a gift box for it. But it's actually quite quite small compared to a regular pen. Whoop. When it's closed up like this, and that's nice, so it fits in your pocket very nicely with a nice pocket clip on, on pocket clip on there. You take it out. You put the cap on the end, and then you have a full size pen. And it's kind of weird to write behind the camera, but just so smooth, and it gives you really nice smooth lines, and it, it has a wonderful weight to it, it's made out of stainless steel or brass or something, I don't know, it's some sort of metal, I don't actually know what metal this is, and I'm sure a lot of people do. But it's, it's really heavy. It's not plasticky at all. One thing about this, because it was made for being a flipper pen, is that it's, it's kind of light. This, very nice weight. It just feels like a very solidly made pen. Uh, if you take it, if you open it up, like you're going to write for it, like you're going to write with it, excuse me, uh, you'll see an O-ring there. I don't know if you can see that black on black, but there's an O-ring, and it has a gap in it. So it's it's an O-ring and it purposes for two reasons. It keeps some of the water or anything else that might get in there out, but obviously with a split in it, it's not going to keep it all out. But the reason that the split is in there is so if you're going to cap this and you have a full O-ring, you're going to be pressing that air pressure on there. That pressure is going to be building up at the cap here. You won't be able to cap it. And if you do cap it, there's going to be a vacuum now when you try to pull it out, and it would be a pain. So that wouldn't work. Another uh, purpose of the O-ring is to provide pressure so that the uh, the pen doesn't come out of the cap. So, again, I love the way. I, I really like the uh, the O-ring there that keeps a lot of the uh, the stuff out. Uh, the pocket clip is, is okay. It's kind of uh, flimsy. Well, it's not flimsy. I mean, it's it's sturdy, but it's it, it's not really tight. So it's almost like it could uh, 
fall out perhaps. I never get problems with it. It's just some I, I think they could improve on. And another thing is, uh, while the O-ring is in there so that the bottom of the pen doesn't fall out of the cap, I definitely think that they could do a little bit better, perhaps have it click in there, because I've actually had it come out because it doesn't take much pressure. And, you know, if you have this clip to your shirt or something, you might lose one of the parts. Uh, it takes the Fisher Space Pen cartridges. They are $5 for refill. I'm going to take it apart here. Here's your Space Pen cartridges. $5 for refill. This is a medium black point. Like I said, wonderful, wonderful writer. Really comfortable to write with. And uh, for those that don't know, uh, there's a lot more to a pen than just writing. And if you think the, the only thing a pen can do is just write, most people only use a pen for writing, but there are other things it can do with it. Uh, you can uncap it, give yourself a nice impact weapon in case, you know, in case you ever need to use an emergency, something like that. Uh, you can also take that cartridge out, and I don't know how many people are going to do this, but you know, in your profession, again, I'm a lifeguard, I might have to do this. Uh, if you take the ink cartridge out, you're going to have a hollow thing in case you have to do some sort of a trach tube, a trachea tube, a uh, chest tube, you can also do that in there. Again, these are all things that the pen could be used for, but beyond that, in more real-life situations, uh, it's a fabulous writer. It's very smooth, nice, really nice weight to it. I love the black matte finish on here, and the bullet size just fits into my pocket for EDC so well. Uh, so that's great. And now what we're going to get on to, the next clip that you're going to see right after I'm done talking here, is some extreme tests. This actual first test is pressure and water. I'm go your next clip is going to be me and my work at a pool going into the 13 foot end and writing or attempting to write we'll see what the outcome with that is uh, at the bottom of the 13 foot pool and the it's not just the water that's going to be a problem there it's also pressure when you're down that low you you have the pressure of the water pushing against the the ball of the pen so no ink you know if, if it's not a pressurized cartridge the ink won't be able to come out because it'll be, be be forced into the cartridge with the water pressure so Right after this, I'm going to edit that clip on, and we'll see how that turns out. Hey guys, here I am at my local pool. This is where I work as a lifeguard, and this is going to be the Extreme Spider Co. test. And I'm going to pan the camera a bit over here. See if I can zoom in over there. And if you see that, and it decides to focus, it says 13 feet deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. And you might still hear some people in the background. This still is a pool and people are in the changing rooms. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to swim to the bottom. So then one of the next things you're going to see is me diving to the bottom. And at the bottom, I'm going to write on my arm. As you see, there is nothing on there. On my left arm, I'm going to write with the Fisher Space Pen bullet X mark. And on my right, did I say, on my left arm, I'm going to write, I don't know what I said, but either way, on my left arm, I'm going to write with the Space Pen. On the right arm, I'm going to write with a Bic ballpoint pen. And I'm going to show you real quick that they both work, no tricks. So, here's that bullet pen, it's Fisher Space Pen. Works just fine. Here's that Fisher, or not, the non-space pen, and as you can see that also works just fine. So I'm going to swim both of these down, uncapped to the bottom, right on my arm. I'm going to swim the Fisher down first, come back up, show you. If it showed up on my arm, do the same with the Bic so we can have a little test. So, in a second, I'm going to grab that pen and I'm going to get right in. Ready? Okay, now being, me being a bit of an idiot, I didn't bring my goggles, so I was just trying to write F-I-S-H-E-R together, and then I ran out of space from my watch. But as you can clearly see, that pen worked just fine underwater. And now I have what appears to be some sort of alien language on my arm. But trust me, it's says Fisher somewhere in that mess. So it passed. Now I'm getting questions from somebody who shouldn't be asking questions on the camera. But either way, this is a production studio here. They can't realize that. 
Anyway, here we have the big pen, and here we go. This one I didn't even need to write anything because I already knew what the result was going to be. You see those scratch marks? You can kind of see some ink right here. That's the only ink you're going to see. Okay, you see me writing on this arm with this pen? That ain't happening. Coming in with the space pen, and that baby's writing like nobody's business. So. I just thought I would give you guys a little birthday treat here. Today is my birthday, so I thought I would do a little out of the ordinary video here today. So thanks for watching this video, and you guys have a great day.